Now, in this video, we'll start working with the navigation bar using the nav bar class of Bootstrap. As we have already discussed about the navigation elements, here we are going to create a bar, means a column, in which you can put number of navigation elements. If you will visit that particular website on a laptop, you will get a simple column-like structure which will be a collection of the navigation links. But if you will go to the mobile device for checking the same web page, you will find it collapsed and when you will click, then only you will be seeing that navigation element. So let's start working with this navigation bar class and see how it works with the different screen sizes. So for making the navigation bar here, I will take the tag nav and inside that I will put a class called nav bar. As soon as I'll do that, this nav bar nav tag will become a navigation bar and for the appearance I made it nav bar default. So it will be some off-white color nav bar that will appear in front of you. Inside that I want an header. So in First thing that I have done here is putting a div tag where I am deciding the navigation header. So it will be behaving like the home of your overall navigation, right? So when you will click here, you can come back to home. So if you want, you can put a hyperlink out there and any text representing your header of the navigation bar. In the second div, I have listed all the navigation links which should be there in that navigation bar. So as here you can see I have placed two elements out there like two li tags. One is for .NET Framework another one is for the databases. Alright. So in databases I wanted to give multiple options so I would like to make that as the drop down. As we have already covered the drop down so I am just doing the same thing. First of all I am taking a list where I put a class drop down and as the header I put the text called database followed by the caret symbol and then right after that what I'll do is I will put a menu right so Oracle MS SQL Server these are all the elements which will be there in the drop down elements so let's execute this and here you can see like this is the header tutorials point dot and framework which is active as I have placed the active class right here for dot and framework. Now this is the caret symbol which is preceding the databases when I click here you will get the options and if in case you will pass the links out there on the click of that you can jump to the particular topic. So this is the default appearance that navig of navigation bar that bootstrap provides you if you want to change that you can do that as well by changing the class name from navbar default to navbar inverse. So here when I'll execute that now it will be some blackish color alright. Things are still same but the overall appearance is different alright. So you can use either if you want navbar inverse or the default appearance of that. But these navigation bars are not responsive so far means if I'll take the smaller size screen as well it will not be collapsed. So let's see how we can do that. So for making the responsive navigation bar I'll start with the default navigation bar that will take care of the appearance. Again I will continue with the header where I have placed the text alright. And right after that what I'll do is I will use the class navbar toggle and the data toggle here will be collapsible. Alright. So since here I'm using the collapse class this collapse class will actually allow me to make it a collapsible navigation bar. And again as I said inside this header I'm making this tutorials point as the header text. And when you will click on the caret symbol out there means in case when you will be using the collapsible one there will be a small button which I have designed right here. So when you will click over this collapsible button this list will appear. We have already discussed about this list in the previous example but the only change that I have done here is to make it navbar 
collapse all right it will not be a normal list but it will be a collapsible list all right so when you will be working on a smaller size screens it will be collapsed and by clicking the button out there you can get these complete informations rest of the things will remain same like in case you want to create a drop down inside it will be there as usual so let's execute and see how to work with these ones so as here you can see since here the screen size is small I'm getting this button and when I'm clicking here I'm getting the elements and here some more elements in the drop down so when I will increase the size it will appear as it was there in the previous example but it's still functioning for this one all right so basically this is why I have placed this header like if there will be nothing only this button will be appeared and still you will get all these links so this is how you can use the navigation bar in order to create the responsive navigation bar for the different screen sizes.